Einen wunderschönen guten Abend vom Chateau de Colombe in saint hier in Frankreich. Und diese Episode ist der Küchenfußboden. Salut à tous. Bienvenue à Jenny de Chateau de Colombe in saint Modèle. Carrelage uh, au mur. De mur au mur. I always love to butcher my French. <laughs> <laughs> And that's your English speaking friends from around the world. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Journey to the Chateau here in Sombodel. And it's what, about what? About our uh, finishing up the, the kitchen floor. There Wait. is a floor. Yes. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs>
Lisa, what are you doing? I am opening... What? Our kitchen sink. <laughs> oh, let's see about that. Yes. Odds are it's upside down. Of course it is. it is upside down, yes. That's great. And just so that everyone knows, there is... Um, Everything that was written on this box was on both sides up. So there was no indication no, that nothing said it didn't say this side up. No, nothing. Okay. Well. Uh, there it is. A little handbook. <laughs> oh, Especially for Stuart. Great, thank you. So, need the knife be, or could you cut that back side on there? Yeah. Let's cut the back off. No, no, no. No, you do it, right? It's, I can't leave that part. So now this should just fold back, right? The back. Yes, except we've got the oh, we've stuff never mind. There. So, so this is actually the front of our sink, and this is the well, yeah, the thing. <laughs> okay. These, I think, are well, depending. This is where. In. Mm -hmm. But so you have to have it very thick. Okay, that's what what are we doing? <laughs> okay. I suppose we could see if we can tip it up and over, right? Well, yes. Up over and on my foot. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. Oh my! Look there at we that. go. I thought we might have to buy something like this, but. No, no, no. Uh. Okay, we're wiggling this towards the front of it. Okay. okay, is there enough space to put it down? Uh, no, no more. Uh, well, well let's, let's, let's do it anyway. It's at the end. Slide it and go. Let me get my fingers out. Okay. Okay, so. It's right side up. It's just, that's the back of it now. But yes. <laughs> so let's now turn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, the packaging doesn't weigh anything. Really. Now you are. think about that. Over, so there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have the knife. Yeah. Uh, well. I think it's good. Yeah. So this is our sink. Wow. Big basin, small basin, mini basin drop space. There we go. That's wow. better now people can see it. You're gonna be so happy. Do they have <laughs> why? Because they have the dimensions you need to build the cabinet. Oh, yeah. oh, they made it easy for me. Yes. Okay, well, that's, well, that's fantastic, actually. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily easy, but you know, very nice. Hmm. So it's got that. What is the? What's that little area up there? This is a drip, uh, it's, a, it's a small sink. Right. So it's th three basins, small basin. There you can see it now. Uh, large basin, another basin. Yeah. And this is for drip stuff. You can put glasses on or sponges. Yeah. But it's kind of nice to have like a big sink to wash um, uh, berries or, you know, figs in. And then we can put them here in a colander and, and we couldn't do that before. So that's really nice. No, and we looked for a long time till we found a sink that we liked, right? And so, 
it was yes it was a bit it was a bit difficult right I so there's say. another project for me to do finally yes that is our kitchen sink yeah and we're very happy about that sink it's amazing i mean it's three basins big basin smaller basin mm -hmm. tiny basin uh yeah the yeah. <laughs> the bag of plumbing that came with it is a little daunting <laughs> oh we can do it but we'll figure it out it has diagram instructions we'll we'll follow it and figure it out right well, now there's the difference. Stuart will follow di diagram instructions and I would just look at this and go, oh, this goes here, this goes there. And half the time he is better off and half the time I'm better off. So we'll see what this goes, where, where this goes. Right. But it is, we're so excited. Now, what we haven't decided on is a faucet. Right, we are still looking. We've, cut, we've narrowed down to uh, basically what we want for functionality for a faucet. And th then there's the whole, you know, what, what kind of quality do you look at? And and uh, it's going to be, well, dare I say that, I mean, it, so I think where we are at, it's, it's going to be a bit more uh, utilitarian. It's not elegant, right. uh, you know, gilded bronze, something rather, it's most probably just very functional. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's also going to be a functional kitchen. Right. So I, I think uh, we, we are on the right track. Right. And uh, and so we have basically finished the kitchen floor. <laughs> yes. And we are both very happy with the way that that turned out. And I would like to say um, knee pads <laughs> are uh, a godsend. I mean, it's yeah. we, we left ours in the United States. Um, uh, honestly, this the, the first two days of tiling that I did, um, I paid for it, not using anything, any padding for about, what, four days? Mm -hmm. It just hurts. And having knee pads, yes, you have chafing in the, in the back, uh, at the back. Why am I pointing at my... <laughs> no, one, no one can see that. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> you have some chafing and it's, it's uncomfortable, right. but it is nothing compared to the pain you have if you are on your knees, uh, an entire day or right. multiple days in a row. Right. But it's finished, it's uh, grouted. Right. And uh, again, you went over it with the uh, sealant. Yes. So it has been resealed again a second time yes. with the grout in place. And it's, it looks really, really nice. It does. So there it, it is improvement in the kitchen, oh, big, yeah. big time. Yeah. So we have started moving on to uh, the walls. So Patrick already started doing some final sanding on some of the walls Ooh. and we started doing some of the painting. Yes. Okay, I am having a uh, little green slack lime now in little green company slack lime for this uh, for the first kitchen wall, and I'm so excited. The paint is incredibly thick, and it almost looks like heavy whipping cream, which is lovely. It's we had paints that were very very thin and runny, and this is the polar opposite, and I'm loving it. Now let's see how that goes on.
So I would like to tackle the top of the fireplace because it's the focal point and it draws the eye, including ours. And it's the thing that bothers me most. So, aye, aye, aye. there we go. So I hinder myself from doing certain things. Uh, I do like to take things off because I'm just not a professional painter. And I cannot cut in properly like some people can. I admire that deeply. I'm not one of them. One, I'm not one of you people. <laughs> so I just tape off and I'm perfectly happy with it. So no harm done. Just realized I forgot something. And of course, nothing is ever straight lines here, ever. Uh, almost never, I should say. That's not true. Never. We have found a few that were actually absolutely plumb and level and beautiful. Uh, this ceiling from the 1750s with the beams, it isn't, and one should not expect it. So, yes, this is not going to be your average apartment or condominium look, all pretty and straight. Um, 300 some years, 200 some years old. Um, it's just perfectly fine with us. It's why we came here. So John was here today, uh, did a lot of work, um, 
Painting the walls is progressing. There's, of course, more work to do. A little bit of patching, but uh, mostly painting. Having the fireplace painted on all sides. Oh, wow. What a difference, what a difference that makes. <laughs> what was that? What a difference. A day makes. <laughs> Just paint your fireplace. <laughs> It's amazing. I mean, coming in there and, and uh, just your eyes are drawn to the fireplace. It is a very domineering piece of, of architecture in the room. Right. And it draws your eye. And now that it's uh, painted with uh, Little Green Company slacked lime, mm -hmm. which, because it was so dark before, looks maybe white, but it's really not. Truly. It's, uh, it's, it's like an, right away it would be a clue. Off white, right, or wool white. It, it's so pretty, um, and it, it's it's comforting coming into the kitchen now from outside. And when I look to my right, it's so just cozy. Yeah. And uh, so the next couple of days, um, we're gonna uh, tile what needs to be tiled. Right. We will do some more uh, finishing painting. Pa oh, right. uh, the painting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. First things first, painting right. will be finished. <laughs> right, and then, uh, and then we are going to, well, John has been working on the electrics, he'll be back again this week to do a bit more. Yes. Uh, and then we can do uh, most all most of the tiling. Uh, one thing that we, we know that we can't do is part of the backsplash tile because we do have to have countertops in place to do that. Oh yes, right. So, uh, but we need to we need to get everything in place so we can actually get somebody in here in order to order countertops. We need to get everything in place. Well, I think it's fair to say we first have to find someone. Well, within less than an hour and a half away from us, right? Who actually does granite and quartz countertops? Right. <laughs> right. Maybe we haven't found the right word for it. <laughs> That's search. happened before, so yeah, that could be it. So, um, I will call Florence tonight mm -hmm. and see if she can point me in the right direction. Because, mm -hmm. um, as you all know, Florence has been such a godsend. Mm -hmm. um, we have progressed planting in the courtyard, too. Right, and we will have our Friday episode this week. will be about some of the things we've been doing outside, because we have progressed outside with uh, additional plantings that Patrick has done. Uh, we do have some repair that needed to happen that Patrick has been working on on one of our, on our tower. Oh! Yes, <laughs> which is related to the plants because the plants caused the damage, so... Well, not the ones we, we bought, no, the planted, but no. the, the ivy. Ivy, the ivy has caused damage. Yes, ivy. And can I just point out this? Yeah. This bouquet is actually from our garden. Yeah. So it's lovely. It's sitting here and smelling the house, and mm -hmm. it's just, it's lovely. Right. And uh, these were actually the tulips that uh, my cousin Angela planted last fall. Right. So she's going to be back, uh, I think, in what, five weeks? I think. Right, right. We are very um, much yes. looking forward to it. Uh, we are just going to. Put checkles on her and keep her here. She's <laughs> such a good, she's wonderful. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. No, 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 no. But still, it's fantastic to have some helpers. Um, so kitchen is progressing. Mm -hmm. Garden is progressing. Right, right. Uh, I'm de I digress, <laughs> which I always do. Uh, if you like this video, even though I digress, please just like and recommend you. Us, no, oh good lord, recommend us to your friends and family. It really helps us a lot. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Au revoir. A journey to the chateau. That's right. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.